<laughs> Hello and welcome to Anton's TV. We've got a special day today because we've got Andrew in from Antelope Audio. What's up, Andrew? Good. Yeah. Andrew's been in the store doing an in-store event, so we had some customers come in and check out the range. And I think I'm in a good place for this video. Maybe if you're the same and you haven't uh, heard of Antelope Audio, I'm sure loads of people out there have as well. I'm in that camp that doesn't know much about it. so. I, I was hoping that Andrew could just take us through the range today and tell us why Antelope Audio were so badass, as his colleague uh, Igor uh, pointed out. So let's let's start. What do you want to tell us about Antelope Audio? Uh, first of all, everything, the whole world. I want to, <laughs> yeah. I want, I want to thank you for being here. Uh, yeah. For us, it's uh, such an honor being invited oh, great, for a second man. time in Andertons. Um, the company as a company started uh, its a business from uh, the quoking technologies and from the mastering uh, converters at the start. The first as a product was the quarks, as a master quarks and uh, rubidium uh, atomic quarks. This was... Uh, and they're like master clocks, were they? And yeah. Converse. Right, okay. Serious uh, the stuff. The converters are later. The, the first was the actual master quarks, uh, which was our product flagship for um, the past 10 years. Um, right. Then we have decided to introduce uh, high-end DAX and also to introduce mastering KDDA converters on the market. Yeah. This was uh, from the years to 2007 to 2012. And cool. after that, we have jumped to the audio interfaces industry because uh, our success with the master quarks and with the synchronization technology was uh, so big that we have decided just to move forward because for us it's important not to stay at one place but to yeah. continue growing as a company. And uh, that's why I'm here for today. And we it's will... good for us uh, musicians and you out there musicians because that whole idea of the... Um, so you come from a really high-end background in mastering and basically the interfaces allow us uh, clam-handed fools to plug in and record some music. Um, yeah, you've got it set up with your laptop here as well. Uh, do, do you want to start at what the entry level is for us? Like if I wanted to get into... Uh, and like myself, what's the the kind of smallest? Is it the tour we've got going? Yes, uh, what we are going at the moment. This is the smallest portable and the newest audio interface from uh, our portable range. It's called Zen That's Tour. That's good. Newest and smallest Zen Tour. Yeah. Yeah, it looks lovely. It looks substantial. Thank you so much. Um, it has a couple of uh, Tech Award nominees and also it has a music uh, radar. Um, oh, so it's won some awards already. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. And, and run me down, yeah, who's that aimed at, this one? Well, frankly and practically, to be honest, it's aimed to everyone. Uh, cool. We have customers who are just starting it and buying using it, you know, and just using it as a, as a start. Yeah. Then we have uh, pro audio studios who just get it as a addition to the uh, bigger range. They want to take that quality out on the road with them. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we do, actually. We don't compromise when it comes to the audio quality. And that's why even when you get the Zen Tour, you're not sacrificing from our uh, ADDA conversion and the Supreme Quoking, which we empower with all of our products. Oh, nice, man. Well, it looks great. I love this screen on it. Um, yeah, do you want to talk us a bit through about some of the features on the Zen Tour? Yes, uh, I would love to. Yeah, so the Zen me. Tour, um, you know, despite the fact that it's uh, quite portable, it's really yeah. powerful interface. You have uh, eight preamps, four cool. on the front here, oh, which are right. high Z line. Oh, right, nice. And yeah. Four on the back, which are my. It doesn't look like it would have that even on first glance. I was like, oh, wow. Right. Yeah, we have aimed to few of the places. You know, we have aimed to uh, like bring uh, bring more to the customers that you you know are used to get uh, portable and small amount of I/O. We don't want to do that. We want mm. to escape from it. We and just, no breakout cables. It's cool. No, we, we no. The idea was to be uh, stable and sturdy. That's why no breakout cables. Most definitely, for this yeah. One. Yeah. Serious stuff. We really uh, like the design and we have spent a lot of time of find our way when it comes to designing the, the gear. Yeah. But we believe that uh, we have achieved it because all of our interfaces are rock solid and yeah. we're proud of it. They're quite handsome as well. Thank you. Oh, you got a handsome interface. We need, interface. To, we need to send regards to our graphic designers and to the R&D department oh, as well. Oh yeah, my boy is a graphic designer. Yeah. I like it and uh, I like the antelope. I like, what does that do? What does that button do? Well, this button do is uh, actually it's multifunctional button. Oh, that's you may, cool. You may change the functions <laughs> of the button. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. We've got a wicked button with a little antelope. 
like midair. Yeah. I just think that's cool. At this, at this stage, uh, the function uh, basically changes the monitor routes of the device because this device uh, comes with the two separate Oh yeah, and it changed the screen. Great yeah. screen. And so we've got eight, eight um, ins, analog ins there. Yeah, if you, if you press here, Touch and oh, there wow. is an uh, antelope button. Here, yeah, if you yeah. press it, you may just change oh, the filter. Oh, dreamy, dreamy. Yeah. I, I've knocked us off course. So, we've got the eight ins, uh, looks like we've got a couple headphones. Uh, uh, in addition to the eight ins, this you know uh, doesn't uh, end with the device. You have two headphone outputs, yeah. you have two reamp outputs, which are perfect for amping, reamping all these um, amps mm. with, uh, with your already recorded guitar. You have eight line outs on the back, which is also good if you want to spread more headphone out mixes. If you have headphone amps, yeah. it's great if you can plug it here. So not only have you got the two powered ones, you have got... eight additional lights on the back as oh, well. Oh, like on a on a DIN type on a DIN. Yeah, oh that's yeah. it. Yeah, nice man. Oh cool. And how's it that's going in via USB? Dreamy. It's a hybrid audio interface, not only over USB, it uh, works uh, under uh, Apple certified Thunderbolt as well. So Love the Thunderbolt, that's cool for anyone with a Mac, it's nice because it's a spare port. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's nice to clear things up. It's nice, a spare man. port, we're really proud that we have achieved uh, this uh, multi-platform connectivity because uh, most of the companies sacrifice one port for the others. With uh, yeah. us, this, this has never been the case. We are aiming for both users because we know how important it is to do music. It doesn't matter on, on which operating system. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. We've got a PC in there. I haven't seen a PC for a while, but it's been working great. You've set it all up. And um, I probably we shouldn't get too bogged down in the ins and outs. Sorry to ask you about it because obviously you can go read about those. But it, it is amazing to, for you to just show me how much yeah. stuff in there because it doesn't look like it at first glance but um the other thing is this software looks great as well thank you and um touch screen uh, what what can the touch screen why did you put the touch screen on this such a small device is it because it works in standalone mode or is, is that it or? yes it can also work as a standalone cool. mode you have a hardware embedded presets which means that you can set up the software as it is I can un unplug the cable then, yeah. and you can continue playing with the device. Uh, and the hardware presets are taking care of storing this memory within the actual unit. So yeah. when you take off the cable, yeah. you will have the same features. That's cool. And this screen is the best thing I've ever seen on a on a small interface. Uh, there's some that do the standalone thing, and then you need like a separate iPad and things like that. But that's cool that you got it on there. Yeah, Again, the, the, screen, the screen was uh, kind of a jump from the traditions uh, and the small screens that, you know, mm. uh, many of us are used to see and also the small peak meters that many interfaces are empowering. The screen basically controls all of the uh, functions that yeah. you can ask from it. The only thing that it cannot is the routing, but that's why we have a beautiful software for the computer. Yeah, let's have a look at this bad boy. On it, yeah. So what we're seeing here currently is the main control panel of the Zen Tour. Right. Yeah. Uh, inside it, you have all which includes the actual unit. By all, I mean this is the routing section mm -hmm. and this is the basic control sections for the preamps, for the I headphones. Like the way they, look. they look like channel strips, like old channel strips. Cool, yes, man. our idea was to uh, keep it uh, you know, known for the user, mm -hmm. but to introduce our own way when it comes to the routing. Actually, it looks posh. Do you, know, do you know what I mean? Like it looks expensive. Yeah, the other word nice. for Porsche is la da as well. I was la <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So uh, the routing matrix is uh, the most powerful that I've seen, that I've used so far. I'm not saying that because I work for Antelope. I'm saying this because it's really it's easy. It's just a fact. It's really easy to work with it. It's divided in two sections. You have the sources, so the mm -hmm. actual signal sources, going in, yeah. and the output. That's it. Everything is color coded and everything like an amazing patch bay digital patch bay That's so what I cool. used to to say it. It's pretty simple What you have to do when you want to do something simply drag and drop Like in our case if I just highlight certain channels, let's say that we want so to send the preamps, a channel. Yeah, yeah the preamps mm -hmm. somewhere Down to mix one and that's literally it. That's it. I dig that I can imagine, yeah, I've never seen it done like that way. It's a not really nice way to do about it. Like grabbing cables and going, right, I'm going to yeah, plug it in. The same, cool, the same man. as a patch bay. Um, the idea is to, you know, keep it simple and not waste time. Because imagine if you have a normal wide mixing, mixing uh, 
a software based yeah. control panel and you have 200 channels which one of the devices has in, a, in our range uh, what you do with it you need yeah, to scroll yeah. down every day and, I mean, and uh, is this software because it says the Zen tour there is this software similar for all your interfaces across or does it change yes actually it is quite similar because the product line uh, when it comes to the software does not change this a lot because we want to keep it simple for and the that brings users. us on nicely let's not get too bogged down because obviously we're going to look at we're just in an introduction really into antelope and we, we've been in the store i think i asked about a year so we've been selling them and uh i know that brad who's the high tech manager is a big old fan he he's a big fan of it and the guys in the store seemed really happy with their products today so we got this chat and should we just talk up through the range or wherever you want to go man yeah um yeah the newest piece of all the interfaces uh are still coming out we have one ready for you guys here. Cool. It's called the Orion 32 HD, which handsome. is this handsome yeah. piece here. Uh, what is unique about it? Um, you know, we're really proud of making such product because um, it is uh, first fully functional Pro Tools HD ready interface with two DG ports or, or HDX ports. Right. You can uh, record up to 64 channels over these ports wow. into Pro Tools and back from Pro Tools. It also have a USB 3 inside it, which also is able to record 64 channels of simultaneous I.O. in and out. <laughs> you also have a MADI interface inside it, which also oh, allows right, you to cool. uh, transfer 64 channels I.O. of MADI. Mm. And the best part is that this Orion 32 HD also has 32 physical inputs and outputs on the back over this up so it's a uh, one new device yeah. which empowers all of these digital and hardware ios within itself this is not the only thing which makes the um, uh, the orion really powerful tool mm. within uh, each studio the other stuff are the uh, legendary and uh, supreme clocking technology which our master clocks um, provided to the users for the past years and we have uh, taken advantage of this one mm -hmm. and uh, we have equipped all of our interfaces with the latest clocking technology from Antelope Audio. Oh, so you just kind of upped the, uh, you said the clocking technology? Yeah, yeah. basically we use um, a special oven controlled clocking system which basically uh, keeps the clocking uh, into a stable temperature mm -hmm. which um, produces best results and we use special algorithm. Wow, so the temperature really makes a difference. Yes, uh, yes, it does. Uh, wow, this is our way of, uh, you know, of uh, using and utilizing the quarks. You know, uh, I always want to, to say to the customers, and I'm always saying that even if you have the same uh, quark into the each devices, uh, the importance is how you can take the most out of it. Even if you have the same converters mm -hmm. within the, uh, the two our interfaces from the different brands. The important thing is just to uh, make it work better mm -hmm. and this is what we're good at we want pushing forward yes yeah, yeah yeah and also i wanted to say something else about the renter to hd yeah it's um also utilizes not only the quoking but it, it has the latest fpj power technology from antelope audio which is a real time i heard about uh, sorry sorry to jump yeah. in fgpa fpga f yeah fpga I did a synth demo earlier on today, and that had F. They had the same thing. Is it like a new type of processor? Mm, Is it's it like a, a new power? It's not a new type of processor. Okay. It's just um, very you know, powerful. Uh, yeah, very right, powerful okay. processor which is uh, running on uh, logical algorithms, and basically uh, it operates faster than the normal DSP engines. So it allows us to model uh, vintage equalizers, compressors, and guitar amps real time within our devices. The Zentur right. has it, the Orion 32 HD has it, yeah. the Goliath, the Orion Studio and the Orion 32 Plus and the Orion 32. More or less, they yeah. have the same core technology because the FPGA actually takes care not only for the real-time processing yeah. of the effects, but it takes care for uh, the routing and of other important major as aspects on the device. This is the core from our uh, which handles our our devices actually. and i heard it earlier on on the sit so i'm looking forward to it because on the synth it really sounded amazing like uh and so i'm god knows what you've been able to do with the stuff that's running in there should we get to um the, we got a guitar plugged in haven't we and mm -hmm. and would that be using 
because uh, you said we could get the guitar plugged in. Yeah. Do you, is that using the FPJ stuff uh, to run this, amp uh, modeling? Do we at do this, at this moment, uh, what we have done so far is that uh, I have set it up um, so-called um, uh, layering within our devices, which right. means that I can make your guitar to be recorded without any effects. At the same time, I will pass it on to the effects. We can record okay. it without any, without affecting the first original source. And at the same time, if we just change, mm -hmm. we can record the amp which is plugged behind me. All right, cool. With uh, the so same. So let's have amp. a let's have a go at that. We'll get try crow, but yeah, I'm gonna have you know, to forgive yeah. some like uh, ham-fisted licks. Okay. I've got Pete's. Lovely Telecaster. Currently what we are hearing is the pure conversion of the unit. I mean, no processing is made. So that's just dry? Yeah, just dry. God, it's a nice guitar, isn't it? Okay, so that's just dry. And nice units as well. Yeah, yeah. it translates well. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Because normally it sounds... That's dry as a bone, just a DI in, right? Yeah, the... Cool. The idea of our company is to bring the nature of sounding into your computer as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Because many units will, <clears throat> many other uh, units may squash the sound, may just distort it a little bit, may yeah. twist it a little bit. But the idea here is just to uh, bring the actual feeling that your fingers are touching the frets and it is being recorded. Yeah. I mean, this is the important stuff everyone in the music industry is achieving. Is trying to achieve that. I can tell um, you're really passionate about it, man, and I, I can, I can hear it. I'm getting the sense from it as well. So that's dry in there. Yeah. Should we? Um, so, do you have like any amp modeling or anything in there? Yeah. Let me do? let me show you something. Yeah. Hit me. The first thing that oh, we will do is that we will just oh, uh, that looks pass, cool. pass this uh, guitar through our BAE 1073. Okay. sound right yeah if we go even deeper we can achieve different results but uh, I think that the small adjustments matters when it comes to the recording and this BAE is, are these licensed yeah of course we are the only company uh, currently who owns the license for them or uh, which that's are a cool company us. to be hooked up. I didn't know that I didn't know that yeah, they're a really tired. good friend of ours I'm sending the regards to them as well uh, BAE what? They, they do amazing hardware products and yeah. we're really proud of being uh, in uh, such cooperation oh, with that's them. That's cool. I think that obviously, you, you know, your, your pedigree in the mastering world, it's almost, I think that's amazing. And this chap, you can actually expand as well. If you want to do more people, it's got the ADAT stuff as well. So even a small bit of this could integrate into one of the bigger systems, right? Yes, the cool part is that uh, when we introduce a new device on the market, we look in the future of like how this device can be integrated into mm -hmm. other systems or how other systems can integrate with this device. Yeah. So uh, in addition to the um, abundance of the hardware I.O., mm -hmm. the Zentour has uh, 16 ADATs on the side. So you have 16 ADATs oh, input. Cool. So I've, got, I've always got to check for myself. Yeah. Oh, nice. Which is ideal for just sending signals out to your digital mixing yeah. desks or sending signal ins, ins from a preamp. Yeah, you like a, I, I've done the same, like I've bought you know, cheaper preamps that I've kind of added in maybe for toms, just for extra channels. And that's so good to have that feature, man. Yeah, when, when you want to expand your channel count, it really yeah. matters to have extra connectivity over the good old ADAT. I must say, it's super solid bit of kit. And um, I, I think I overheard you and your lovely colleague earlier. Should we touch on a bit more about your pedigree in the mastering world? Because obviously we've, we've checked it out. We don't want to go too much into it. Obviously, you're going to, whoever buys it, is 
like you're saying, there's so much options. So there's no point really showing you my dodgy guitar playing or what we would record with it. Uh, more, a little bit more about the company and about how you know your pedigree in mastering, something to do with the jitter and lack of, do you want to give us a bit of spiel about? I think the jitter was referred to the quacking actually. Right, okay, yeah. Yeah, the jitter Sorry. actually, the jitter process is the errors which happens between the sample uh, arrival and the sample start when it comes to yeah. uh, the actual uh, conversion process. Um, in terms of the mastering, if you want to know more about it, yeah, uh, yeah. we have two excellent mastering converters. The one is called Pure2. Uh, all of our uh, viewers can check it out on our website. Cool. Uh, it has burn, bur 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 brown converters inside yeah. it. It has a soft clipping technology and it has one of the highest uh, possible mastering duct chips inside it as well. Uh, it is really a powerful unit when you want to finish the process of the mastering with it. Yeah. The other one is uh, Eclipse 384, which is the first mastering converter which was able to record uh, session, a mastering session stems over 384 kHz, which is twice as 192. Wow, wow that's incredible. Yeah. Hey, everyone at Anderson's, Thanks so much for checking out Antelope and um, with us today. I hope you got an idea of just how the pedigree, how good this bit of kit is. And it's a shame you weren't in the store. If you weren't in the store, you, any thoughts of coming back over and doing more in-stores? Yeah, of course. Um, we have... Uh, well, it's feature. great you've already been over twice, haven't you? Yeah, I have been uh, here twice in a um, you know, period of six months. So yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll be coming uh, here again soon. Of course, uh, oh, when yeah. we are here, it's we will announce it. It's just we're doing doing demos of the latest uh, interfaces from uh, Antelope Audio. Uh, I'll be love to demo the new Ryan 32 HD to uh, mm. new users to show the actual power of the unit because the unit is really powerful, and I think that many of our uh, of your uh, viewers and subscribers will like it as it is. Yeah, definitely yeah. one for the discerning chap because I, I can see. Uh, I almost feel like I'm not up to the task in uh, showing how, how good they are. But uh, normally I'd leave us with a bit of dodgy music, but we're just going to have to end on a handshake now. And thanks so much. Check pleasure. them out. Antelope Audio. Oh!